So how do you use my pitoriform folliculitis kit? Well, you need different products for your face than you do for your body. So I've given you in this kit complete skincare. Complete skincare is cleanse, correct, hydrate, and protect. That's especially important for your face. So we have two cleansers for your face. We have the foaming acne treatment cleanser, which contains the keratolytics, glycolic acid, and salicylic acid. Keratolytics, by definition, are ingredients that bust up keratin plugs. Keratin's the dead skin cell protein material that clogs up your pores and tucks that little pitorosporum yeast in nicely so that it's really happy and goes bananas. So you wash with this keratolytic foaming cleanser on one time that you're washing, say in the morning, and then the next time you wash, you use calming zinc, which delivers pyrithione zinc to your skin, and that takes the joie de vie away from the pitorosporum yeast. Next step, for, and that's part of cleansing, and because they leave a little residue of active ingredients on your skin, there's a little correct in that step as well. Then you follow up with benzoyl peroxide, and you can either spot treat or you can treat areas that are prone to breaking out with pitorosporum folliculitis. Benzoyl peroxide in this product is at the 2.5% concentration, and that's the sweet spot that doesn't irritate sensitive skin, but actually sort of wrangles down the propionobacterium acnes bacterium that seems to sort of synergistically co-conspire with the pitorosporum yeast to cause pitorosporum folliculitis. Now, we don't exactly know what those two are doing in the pores, but they seem to both be playing a role. In addition, benzoyl peroxide is a keratolytic, so you've got three really great keratolytics to keep your pores from being clogged, and you've got the pyrithione zinc, which can now get in better because there's less debris that they have to sort of seep through and get down into those pores where the pitorosporum yeast is doing its deeds. Then you need to hydrate your skin. And maybe your oil glands in the T-zone are gonna be sufficient to hydrate you there, but even people with oily complexions also need a little help with hydrating on the lateral aspects of their face. So my daily face cream is perfect because it's an oil-free face cream that does not clog the pores. We do not need any more help with clogged pores. These guys are working hard for you. And the daily face cream will balance hydration here so that your skin doesn't become irritated. The last step in complete skincare is protect. And so I've included my Sheer Strength Spray Sunscreen, which is a very lightweight, residue-free sunscreen that you can spray into your hands and top your routine with for sun protection to help prevent post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that is that little brown mark that occurs when one of your pitorosporum folliculitis pimples heals. So this is complete skincare for your face. Now for your chest, neck, and back, the skin is thicker and you need different products. If you have pretty thin and cooperative skin, maybe this is gonna work for the back and chest, but maybe it's not. And so I treat pitorosporum folliculitis on the back and chest with these products. So here, and we sun protect with this one. So here you've got two cleansers and the Salu cloth. You apply these cleansers in alternating fashion. One time in the shower, you use the foaming zinc, which has pyrithione zinc in a base that gets through the tough skin on the back and chest. It's also good for your scalp and functions as a shampoo. So you can wash your scalp with it and treat pitorosporum folliculitis up there if you've got those little tinder pimples on your scalp. The next time in the shower, you're using, you use the foaming benzoyl peroxide cleanser on your salu cloth. So you lather up on your salu cloth and then you sort of treat your back, treat your chest. You can even treat here. When you step, you rinse all the product off and it will leave a residue of the ingredients on your skin to help treat the pitorosporum folliculitis. And again, benzoyl peroxide is a keratolytic. It will unclog your pores. And then you need sun protection. If you're not wearing sun protective clothing or clothing that's sufficient to block the ultraviolet rays, you need to use a sunscreen. And it, again, it needs to be broad spectrum zinc oxide. And this is again, a weightless product. You spray it in your hands, or frankly, you can spray your back, but you must still rub it in because the droplets are gonna leave little skip areas. So you rub it into the skin and that will help prevent the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that's so common with pitorosporum folliculitis on the back and chest. So you have a choice. You can just treat your face or you can add the back and chest, the body acne treatment and the pyrithione zinc in the foaming zinc also works as a shampoo to treat dandruff. So you're kind of covering lots of bases here with that product. So I hope this product combination that I've created helps you. 
And I hope you learned a little bit about pitterosporum folliculitis from this video.